was once a bad kid which had never followed the guidelines from the arch teachers since kindergarten. I was born in 1984, and this is my design story. My passion with design has never been stopped at any time. I design even during my dream, ready to wake up any time to note down what I've created in my dream. I'm unsure if this is a positive thing or I'm seriously intoxicated in design. I can never stop. Despondently, creative is not always a guarantee. Sometimes I'm stuck. I was even questioning about my ability. Am I capable in running the company? I was once an innocent boy hoping to start my own dream. I maxed out all the credit cards, personal loans, and immensely in debt. Perhaps that was the beginning of dedicating my life into interior design. Looking back to achievements I had, and support from family and friends, I have absolutely no hesitation to carry on in this career no matter how difficult it will be. My inspiration comes from observing every detail on my daily routine. My theory about designing a space is not just about aesthetics. It's about the harmony of things. Design is not simply something on the paper. It's everything. Every detail is imperative and cannot be evaded. Wine is one of my best partners. I enjoy the sophistication of this beautifully crafted gift from the heaven. To me, it is closely related to space design because it brings me the five senses experience. I can feel it, see it, hear it, taste it, and smell it. Most importantly, it brings me more love and happiness to my family and friends. And this is how life should be. Cooking is another pleasurable experience to me. Designing the menu is like when you do research for a project. Food preparation is like when you are expressing your idea through drawings. And finally, you decorate the dish with maximum visual enjoyment. I have a design norm that always stay with me. Good design creates value. And such value creates a life.